Hello, in today's lecture, I'm going to start um, in making the third phase of our tower modeling. Uh, I call this phase is skin making or skin. If you remember, we end up in the second phase uh, of making automatic cladding for the tower that we made. And we say that we're going to start up with the modeling of the form, uh, which is the first phase, and then we're going to go cladding it, which is the second phase. And now we have the third phase, which is the skin. Uh, in the skin, it's actually, uh, you can actually do the same techniques that I did here uh, using the adaptive component here. And in the adaptive component, you can just depend on the adaptive component uh, curtain based system. And instead of the open, uh, sorry, instead of the frame with a glass, you can use a frame with an empty uh, area in between. So there is no panel, and you're going to get technically the same result. But the method that I'm going to show you here in this tutorial is a little bit different. I'm going to make an adaptive model uh, instead of adaptive curtain base. Uh, that might be useful if you use another method, especially that can end up by having uh, uh, an unquad or triangular system. Anyway, uh, let's have a look. Uh, so first, uh, we're not going to use this family. So there is no curtain base system adaptive component. Uh, second, we don't want actually we are here making a uh, surface has been divided uh, beautiful and then uh, we got this uh, get item list which is taking the first one which is just the surfaces and here we are flattening them and then making them unique and in the unique phase uh, then we make uh, here each four getting out of this surface we get the, the curve parameter for it so each four of them, so probably here, instead of making them unique, I uh, probably need to copy that guy and then paste it. I'm going to flat that list so it won't be like each four we have a list. Let's just make them uh, a unique list, actually, uh, a continuous one. So uh, no division for uh, each four, and that's going to give us just a... Uh, actually uh, curves now in here as you can see there are just a number or a sequence of uh, curve as you can see uh, in this uh, we'll go for a curve and then start point and then curve as an end point and by this I'm gonna take the start point and the end point for each one of those lines so if I'm going to run that, it should give us as a point here uh, for the start point for the each one of them. Uh, beauty. Let's, let's go here and yeah. Technically, they are points and they are correctly in, in order to create any geometry based on those end points or those start points. Uh, you need to create a list because the line or the geometry or adaptive model, it's, it's going to need I'm going to make them based on two points, so that's one, that's two, and that's, those of the list it created is actually what we technically need to create, you know, the line modeling or the, the adaptive component that depend on two points, which is this one, the start point and the end point. So let me run that again, and you can again reduce the UNV values, so you can reduce the amount of, uh, uh, of the created points and by that let reduce the amount of time need to be required uh, actually required sorry for the calculation so here now we have lists and uh, the lists uh, probably need to be transposed it's actually need to be transposed so we need to create a list of two points rather than two lists and that's what we're going to do here in the list or transpose node let's open that and check yep so each list will represent a one object that have a start point and end point and instead of having two lists for all the start and sorry one list for all the start and one list for all the point coming from this direction and this direction anyway uh, now we have this which is that technically what we, we want. So each list will be an object, that it's a start, that it's end, and so on. Now, the structure is ready. 
So probably we don't need uh, we don't need to connect those points to this guy because they are not the point belonging to the panel dot panel quad. We need this guy's the two points to be this start point and the end point. And now we need another adaptive component. So I'll just hit save. And minimize that and then go family new family and be aware of using uh, metric or uh, imperial uh, that's the curtain based system that we, we, we used before so I'm not gonna use this one this time uh, just to try a different technique let go model uh, let's see here uh, metric let's use this time metric generative adaptive uh, adaptive model or model adaptive this guy is it's really really nice because you can just add uh, whatever you want so if, if you're gonna create an object with a three points or object with four points each point will represent one click in your mouse that's your friend so for example in my case I need to create any any object that starts with a first point and end with a second point alright so uh, that's my guy so whatever you place there is okay as long as you don't forget to make them uh, as long as you don't forget to make them uh, an adaptive so uh, so just select them both and then go here make adaptive so now they are adaptive and have their own reference planes uh, just generate any line here and that line go a 3d snapping and then select that guy and then select that guy now go ahead and select whatever you want the cro as a cross section you want it circular you want it uh, based on uh, like end guns here, uh, rectangle, whatever, elliptical, uh, whatever you think it's uh, suitable for you. So, and I can take this one. Um, uh, oops, probably I need to set that, which is perpendicular on the line, and then draw the objects that I want. Let's say this guy, and here. Uh, that's the first one and you can go ahead and create the second one or uh, if, if again you have to be short of the exact diameter of that to be fully parametric or sorry if, if you want it to be normally you know how much exactly you want so it's okay go ahead and otherwise you have to add a parameter uh, so for example in a circle which uh, easier for us now I can just click that and select that guy and then add that as a parameter and let's go ahead and, I don't know, let's call it radius. Uh, RID. And the same thing to be done here. So setting this and then take a circle on it. Just the same. And now select this guy and then this guy. And zoom in and take this guy. You can do the same thing, by the way, when we draw this angons uh, or polygon, and um, just define a radius for it. Anywho, uh, just create the geometry. So that's that's your uh, adaptive model. Just save it, save as, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it on my desktop. Anyway, let's call it uh, adaptive. As uh, I don't know cylindrical whatever and then save and then I uh, you might need it in, in somewhere else so just load it into the project and now it's gonna suggest where you want to add it I'm just gonna cancel all right so uh, I'm gonna remove that actually don't want to select any levels so delete so now in, I load it into the project so when I select here I can find it here now I run it might take some times again it depends on uh, how fast your machine is uh, so just try to be patient and don't add too much uh, U and value U and V values for the panel dot panel quad so you don't end up by having an, uh, uh, a subdivision that uh, your machine cannot handle
sorry. So now we are running the, 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 the function that we have. And as you can see, it takes some time. And um, again, I just generally model uh, each, which is the adaptive model that we have. It's based on two point, two adaptive point. So those two point will be placed this point and this point for a line called zero and then a line called uh, one and then that's the start and that's the point. So it's basically going to create the whole structure of those lines and built it as a skin or as a structure of a columns and beams. It's just like a skeleton, okay? Uh, without those panels that we have inside. So it's a good technique uh, to master it and being able to understand a separate way from the, depending on the curtain-based system and to be really recognizing using the adaptive model here from, from actually the adaptive model-based curtain-based system. Yeah, it's taking too long for my old machine uh, to be done, so it's to get my giving you here not responding, so just be patient and don't freak out. It is responding actually, but uh, just leave it for a couple of seconds. Yep, it's taking too long. Yeah, it's still taking too long to be done, honestly. Good, it's been done. So now you'll zoom in here. Probably you won't recognize the difference uh, that's okay I'll just save that because I don't want to return the whole thing uh, to do uh, to return and do the whole thing again so you might not recognize what happened but what actually happens is this is a frame and that's the frame and that's the other one this one inside is empty but you see that you know like orange or light brown surface just because you know that's uh, if you return back here you, you might notice that we still have the panels on and that's the structure. So to either turn that off, let's try just uh, try get that out of the preview so you can see. And now you can see it's uh, better. Now it's just a wireframe for all the objects, as you can see. Uh, just a structure, a wireframe that doesn't have anything to fill those panels. So whenever you want to make it like a structure that actually is shown or extra facade wrapping around the cladding you might use this method and remember that this is an, uh, an adaptive model so if you don't like that 0.3 thickness you just make it open and make it 0.6 double it for example the radius here it can be controlled by you and it's a good thing to be done to make it uh, as a type parameter so you can change one and that applies for the whole thing rather than make it an instance I think you, you need to make shared parameter if you wanted to control this guy inside dynamo instead of going outside to the vet environment and then change it anyway you can see this now it's a little bit uh, uh, thicker and give you better uh, better understanding of how how it's been structuring and that again that's an empty so there is no gaps inside that's the difference between the skin uh, system and between the 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 cladding system I'll try in the, in the third uh, or actually in the fourth phase 
to show you how to combine the clan and the skin in the same model and then I will try to show you how to make the subdivision to add any extra pattern to the face or a group of patterns to the face either to make them extruded or paneled or uh, beveled or even uh, cut out of the face uh, depend how far those series goes I wish that you find this uh, tutorial useful uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day bye bye